right, welcome to another installment of the Fragments of Silicon Reviews. A programming note before we start, um, we have pushed up the start time of this um, block broadcasting to ostensibly 9 p.m., but, you know, it usually takes us a bit to get everything set up. You know. Mm-hmm. But, but yeah, between Petty Fan's new card game thing and MS Saga with Mac usually starting and ending late, uh, we're probably gonna, weren't going to be able to start before about then anyway most nights. So yeah, so I just made it official. We're starting at nine going forward. Maybe when MS Saga concludes, and I don't know, Petty's done with the card game thing, that'll change. But you know, for the foreseeable future, we're starting at nine. You know. It's not a hard adjustment or anything, but, you know, it is something to note. That being said, uh, we have okay, four games, um, though I hesitate to call the thing we are featuring here first a game. It is Artists of Fortune Distant Worlds. Um, it's probably more accurate to call it an art application. And I had a bit of back and forth in my mind about whether or not to review this thing. But I decided for it under the um, Mario uh, Paint ruling. You know, if that can be classified as game, as a game or rather gaming adjacent, so can this. You know, like art ap- applications do have a long, maybe not storied history, but there have been enough of these kinds of things where I can say... Yeah, we can review it under the auspices of a game. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. That being said, Artists of Fortunes is a lot more limited in its scope than, uh, than say, Mario Paint or Mario Artist or even the UDraw tablet stuff. This is more along the lines of I may be the only one who remembers this NES title, Color My Dinosaur. Like, In the sense that, yeah, this is a coloring application um, where there's a story here, by the way. Um, You are a team of artists who have just received an invitation to the Intergalactic Painting Tournament. Um, Colorful pixel art adventures in space are coming. So, yeah, you're trying to win an Intergalactic Art um, Tournament. Uh, And that involves... You know, paint filling in paintings of uh, sci-fi themed art, and this being pixel art, that means it is actual pixel art. You, you know, you go down and you can see these square pixels, and your job is to color it all in. And it's not the—that's the basic goal. But since this thing has uh, achievements attached to it, um, one of the achievement lines is uh, fill in X amount of pixels without screwing up. You know, um, miss filling a pixel. Which can be more difficult than you'd think. Because, you know, on the one hand, yeah, you've got areas where there's a lot of one color. On the other hand, there are areas where you're going to get, you know, just a mishmash of pixels, um, including, like, sometimes there are pixel colors that go, you know, have three spaces or even down right down to one space. Like, but um, in order to aid your progress, you've got three power tools, let's call them. You've got the fill tool, which, as it... uh, says on the tin here, it fills in a space of like pixels. And that does apply on size. Like, if you fill in a one-pixel space with the fill tool, it'll fill in the one-pixel space, and just that. Um, You've got what they call the blockbuster. Uh, It stamps a large rectangular area. Doesn't matter the pixel color. It's just, you know, a big block of pixels uh, filled in. And finally, you've got the rainbow pixel paint. Um, that allows you to fill in any pixel regardless of color. Yeah, I, does, the, does the stamp make everything the color you are, even if that's wrong? No, it makes it the color of the pixels. Oh, boy. 
<laughs> I'm like, that's supposed to be. Yeah, the, the color, the, like, if the pixel's orange, it'll be orange. If the pixel's yellow, it'll be yellow. Okay, I'm yeah. just checking. No, I just want to make that clear. And, you know, as far as the pixel paints, uh, those are all number numbered and lettered. Um, and Petty Fan here is taking care of, like, one of the less complicated affairs. Like, because, let me tell you, um, even, like, on the free package, these things can get intricate. Very fucking intricate. And, you know, you'll learn some things about um, pixel art. Like, even just filling shit in can be a time-intensive process. No mm -hmm. joke. Like, um, like uh, some of the later pixel pictures took a good two hours to fill. Like, um, part of that was because it started getting stingy with the power-ups. Um because the power-ups scale. Like, the, you know, the more things you do, the more you have to do to get those power-ups. Um, and what you... And how you get those power-ups does differ. Like, to get the blockbuster, you have to complete pixel colors. Um, to get the... Fi to get the fill-in... Uh, sorry, to get the fill, um, you just have to paint... Um, I, say, I think, ostensibly without screwing up. And, you know, once you fill in your first blockbuster, that's when you get rainbow pixel paint. And you, you can continue to paint and you get more of that. Um, you have a limit on the rainbow stuff, so if you're topped off there, it's probably a good idea to fill in some columns. But uh, And it's like the amount that it takes to get those power-ups, um, you know, like here it probably takes one or two pixel colors to get a blockbuster. Where Do you have those, a choice of what color you use in what order? Yes and no. Um, you can choose whatever color you want, but the but the pixels are a specific color. You must fill them in as that color, or you do not get the credit for it. Okay, but Petty Fan like like could do the I if he wanted to. Yes, he or could. Or the W. Yes. Yeah, he can do X. He can do nine. He can do 17 if that's there. I was just thinking like W has W and I have very large contiguous areas that might be good for fill. Yeah, you, you can do it like that. You know, the only requirement to progress is you um, paint by the numbers correctly, basically. And it basically doesn't let you mess up. Um, you can mess up, but that'll fuck up your achievements. Um, goals and also, yeah, it, it's not like when you get 100%, it's going to you know fill in with more detail. Um, yeah, and as far as the color range here, that that actually dip, um, differs from picture to picture. Like, the you know, the labels here aren't necessarily what the, it's going to be on the next picture, save for the zero color. Because zero, zero, is, zero always is always black. black. Yes. Um, and you'll be As usually... kind of expected for sprite art? Yeah. I'm like, because most of these pictures, um, there's a lot of outlines. So you're going to be doing a lot of outlining. There was one picture where it was like a few pixel blocks of black, but that was the exception that proves the rule. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, honestly, that's about it in terms of what is in this package. It's very straightforward. Um, it can be very relaxing. It, um, though, there was definitely a wall that hit once it got started, uh, once it started hitting a certain level of intricacy. Like I said, going stingy on the powers was not the right way to go. Because, yeah, you, you are... You know, I mean, without like, that, it's just paint by numbers. Uh, yeah. very small amounts at a time. Yeah. Um, and like I said, it's going to, like, the later pictures are going to take you a few hours to fill, um, which may be more than what people um, would want to be spending on this, you know, for funsies. You know, as far as actual artists, I figured they would probably want to be working on actual art and actual Photoshop or whatever. Like, like I said, this isn't the next coming of Mario Paint. Um, if it was, it would have a it would have a less structured mode. It would have 
less of a structured mode and more of a fuck around mode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you there is no create your own thing in this thing. And also, also no fly swatter zero out of ten. Mm-hmm. No. I mean, and part of that is because, okay, um, the first set of uh, levels is free to play, um, and you get. I forget the exact amount, but you get a fair amount. I put in 12 hours into this, and I still had like four paintings to go. I was just so exhausted from the tedium. Um, That being said, there is DLC for this. Um, There are currently four, uh, sorry, six DLC packages, um, each numbering $2 except for the very recently released uh, Valerium Planet. And that's clocking in at $1.79, at 20 cents off. Um, this, uh, the DLC will run you a tenner. I'm like, um, right. As, as long as, as it doesn't run you a soprano. Yeah. Also, as far as how the music goes, um, it's appropriately sci-fi, alien, otherworldly stuff. Um, you know, very mellow as you would expect. It's the music you would expect out of this kind of thing. Um, as far as the graphics, well, you know, they work. Like the, the graphics are kind of the point of this thing. Like, but um, so how to rate this? Well, on in terms of should you bother with artists of fortune, distant worlds. Um, at all, that's a bit subjective. Like I said, um, you're probably not going to gain actual art skills from this like you would a Mario Paint. Um, Unless you're, like, psychic. Yeah. And, And yes, there are people who have actually done... You know, fucking Homestar Runner came from Mario Paint. You know? Like, it's not the most intricate uh, set of artist tools, but it was uh, very accessible. Now, when you get down to this, yeah, this is basically a very large version of Paint by Numbers. But I do think you will get a few lessons out of how to do pixel art out of it. Now, um, as far as... I have I have a little bit of mixed feelings about how the uh, indicate the blocks you have selected... Um, yeah, I uh, gotta say, color being in this, at least in this stage, the same color as the predominant color of the image. Yeah, I gotta say that the highlighter needed work, um, not just in terms of color, but um, like when you start really filling in stuff, and you you might get to the oh hey, you've only got three blocks of this, and you're trying to find the fucking needle at haystack. Mm-hmm. But, you know, the remedy for that is just to use rainbow paint. Because that means you can just fill in without fucking up. Anyway, as far as spending money on this... Oof. I'm like... I really couldn't recommend it. Um, Because, once again... As a serious kind of artistry tool, it it really isn't that. Um, it's a it's definitely a more casual, narrowed kind of thing, and I think that works as a free to play title. You know, granted, it's just ten dollars, but I guess if you really really enjoy this, then have fun. Like, um. And yeah, I suppose that's about it in terms of uh, you know coverage. Uh, Petty, anything you want to add since you've been uh, doing the artistry? Um, I think it's kind of interesting, but I kind of wish I had it like specifically on my phone, which is a Galaxy Note that has a stylus. Uh huh. I could probably get a lot more fun out of that than just using my mouse. I'm like, I could see it. Um, maybe a mobile version is being worked on. I, I don't know. Like, I, I do know there is more DLC planned in the future for this version. Um, 
pro I'd imagine if there was a mobile version, somebody else because this, uh, you know, this is credited to like one guy. Um, so I imagine if there was going to be a mobile version, that would have to wait. Um, anyway, so yeah, I'll about do it for Artists of Fortune Distant Worlds here. Um, be sure to tune in after the break as the Gallics will be reviewing Fate of the Pharaoh. <laughs> 